<laughs> Leave it away. Yeah. No, no, I'll mean, be fine. But that's but... why I always think I'm like, oh, if I can help him, I will. Yeah, of course. Are we in? Yeah. All right, guys. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. To, uh, what's this? Episode 352 of the Ready, Set, Blow podcast. Thanks to all the new subscribers on YouTube and whatnot. Please keep subscribing. Is this how you start? Oh, I'm just getting it out of the way, brother. Well, I mean, I, I would think that, you, you, like, if I was listening to your podcast, I would be like, Randy, give me, give I, me a little bit more of your personality here. I just get the full, the bullshit out of the way because I do it at the end. And I'm so bad about hey it. Hey guys, thanks for all the new subscribers. Yeah, you know, uh, all we the appreciate bullshit. all of you. Thank you. <laughs> if you if you haven't yet, subscribe. Get on there, like, motherfucker. Comment. It helps the algorithm. Listen, I'm not asking for money. But exactly. if I'm asking you guys for anything, it's a comment and a like, and that helps us, the algorithm, and we appreciate all the new people. Well, Welcome not back everyone to the is as famous thing. as you, Mike Lenoche. I've seen your Instagram blowing up, buddy. Thank you, man. But I think that this is more, it's like, hey, you know, if I'm fucking at I, work listen, on Tuesday and you're like, hey, do, 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 I'm going to be keep pissed. It, don't worry. I work, I work my way up. I, I'm sorry. I'm a slow burn. I like, <laughs> no, I like no. to fuck with listen, you. Listen, I am the worst self-promoter on the planet, dude. You got to help me out because uh, you've been killing it lately. I mean, I, I am... Uh, I could listen. I'm not like some of these fucking horses out there. I'm just posting the clips. But as but it's far working. as I see the numbers creeping up, as far as yes, you got a big TikTok following. You TikTok? No, the, my TikTok's not going. Okay, it's harder. Yeah, I've been pushing. I've been trying to get on the YouTube thing because I want some fucking money. Me too. I want, <laughs> we all want and, money. And YouTube pays if you get enough subscribers. You want to know what I'm going to do with my TikTok? What's that? You know how you could do the deep, the deep fake? Yeah. I'm going to deep fake Matt Rife's face on my face and then post my stand-up <laughs> clips and watch them go. And, get, so, and be a, be a, have 20 million followers in a week. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to do it. And uh, I got to actually really get around. I told him, I was like, I'm going to do this. He's like, that's I'll tell actually you what, hilarious. I, I'm not, I, you don't seem like one of those guys that, that gets upset about other people's success. I was working in... It depends who it is. That's a good point. Very fair point. But Matt's such a nice guy. And I was yeah. doing Raleigh with Jeff. And he was, he was doing Raleigh as well. They have two rooms in there. Great guy, and I'll tell him, like, dude, I'm fucking happy yeah. for you. You know, well, like, like, I, like, please, somebody, so, some of us got to make money, and I'm, I'm thankful it's a decent one. You know that, why? That made it. You know, like, it's a, it, he's a, I don't want to name names. There's a lot. You said there's a lot of comics. Like that he's motherfucker. A nice guy. Um, listen, yeah. I, I'm sure if I blew up like him, there would be a lot of people pissed. You know, there's like maybe people. Why think, is that? I don't think you got that many enemies in this town, do you? I would think that people think I'm not a nice guy, but I am. When I think people think know. I'm a jerk off, and they might be right. <laughs> Say, yeah, I think that uh, from the outside looking in, me and you probably look like uh, jerk offs. Yeah, no. Well, I was also saying to somebody recently, like my problem is too, uh, like Matt has like a loyal fan base because he's a good looking guy, and like I, I saw his audience. I mean, it's all we'll talk about that in a second. Yeah, it, you know, it's all you know, twenty uh, something girls, and, and he's killing it. But but he's also a good co comic, and he's, he's very funny. Good, you know, he's, he's very good, funny. Yeah. But what I'm saying is about me, I am so apathetic and fucking, you know. Uh, like you need to like if you want to have a cult or a following of any kind, you need to have like like a message. And I'm like, and my message is fuck everyone else's message. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't have any. I'm I'm you know I'm very I'm too not laid back, but uh, I'm too like I said apathetic about it. I'm like I, yeah. I, I don't know if there's like necessarily like a a blueprint to how you have to have these like cult following fans, but um, I, you know, I think that you just have to find your audience and, it, and everybody has an audience out there. They just haven't been exposed to them yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like literally there's 400 million Americans. You only need a million of them. Yeah. That's what I always, I mean, not even, I was saying, I mean, if you have a hundred thousand people, I'll spend $10 a year on a year. That's a million so, like, bucks. If you think, I mean, it's, it's not, that's a, you know what I'm saying? Like, you how break do you get, down the how do you get them to spend the 10 bucks? Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> Just send me money. I'll put my Venmo up. Yeah, on the it's fucking, like, hey man, I'm if, just gonna leave my Venmo on the back from now on. If you, like, if you think about it, like, like, um, like how, uh, what was I just talking about? The uh, fan base. Yeah, getting a fan base, four hundred million. You know, oh, four hundred. Yeah. yeah, it's like um, you just like, how do you get them to know who? Like, you, even when you see it a little bit, there's still. Doesn't matter how many followers you have. There's always someone who's messaged you, whether you have two thousand followers, five thousand followers, fifty thousand, a hundred thousand. There's one person who's messaged you, yo, you're one of my favorite. Yeah, I love you, and you're like, wow, really? Out of all those comedians, <laughs> I'm your Me? favorite. Have you seen Bill Burr? Like, yeah. yeah. Like, what are you talking about? Like, you like you have a bad taste. Exactly. I don't want you as a fan. If you think I'm, if I'm your favorite comic, I don't want you as a fan because you got fucking horrible taste. You got shit ass taste. You, I'm your favorite. You don't know shit about comedy. If I'm your favorite comic, you don't know shit about comedy, dude. Dude, I have I have the same feeling about uh, like if if a woman's if a woman's too interested in me. 
I'm like, she has bad judgment. I shouldn't be dating her. No, you, you know, know what, what dude? <laughs> you know, like, like you should, I, I sh- you should have to oh, warm oh, up oh, to oh. me. If she, you know? Randy, if she loves you, yes, that's a big red flag. <laughs> but you're not a bad looking guy, okay? So you have you have a very northeast vibe. Like I could see how women would be like, I want to hold on to his arms. You know, oh, okay. like, I don't know about that. <laughs> it's mostly gay dudes that live in West Hollywood. But okay, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, you would be, you would, you look like you could be a bottom. <laughs> power bottom dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. power bottom <laughs> don't sell yourself short man oh, women thanks, women buddy. like you you don't always have to you know pay for sex dude <laughs> <laughs> it's not sex unless you pay for it that's yeah. my motto oh okay uh so you, you might have seen a second ago my man mike lenochi spraying for breeze so i guess someone uh, i'm assuming a homeless person decided to take a giant fucking moose side shit right outside of the, in front of the studio dude. well actually do you live in hollywood do you deal with this no no, no i'm in santa monica now oh look at you fancy actually fans. Uh, fuck, if I'd have known, I'd have booked to have a new fucking studio down in Santa Monica. Really? Third wheel, yeah. Oh, fuck. Well, fancy pants. Next time I'll go down there. Yeah. yeah fucking, we'll do well, it again. Well, we could do it. I'll do this every week. I don't care. <laughs> um, I talk shit every week, so could I. He said that we his um, conclusion was that someone poured out water from a plant pot. But why is there human feces in it? There's not. It's like a, it looks like it's spread out that water oh. with like, like something that could be. Yeah, well, and the smell... Not that I'm like a pro at this, but it, it does have like a, 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 musty a thing. manure kind of uh, smell. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't smell like human shit. We're like, oh, this well, guy it didn't McDonald's. smell like dog shit. So I assumed no. human shit. I, but you're right. It could be. It could I be manure. Like it had like a like a little a bit of a horsey. Poopy yeah, it could poop. be that. So it could be that. Do you, how long have you lived in Santa Monica, dude? Since January. Uh, and you moved from Hollywood, right? No, Where I was in. Uh, I was. Yeah, I, I was in WeHo for years. Okay, like near. Um, you don't have to give your old address. Fairfax, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, go there. And sh- <laughs> shoot it up. <laughs> Fairfax and um, uh, Beverly. Okay. I was there for like four years. I was on. How do you like the beach, dude? It's great. Well, I mean, the, a, why, I mean that's like a, uh, for those listeners out there. We'll get into L.A. after this, but L.A. You do not fuck it. Like, if you live in West Hollywood, you never go to the Valley. If you live in the Valley, you're never in Santa Monica because like people worry about the traffic. It's a, so it's a big move to move from West Hollywood to the beach. Here's why: um, 39 this year. All right, I'm turning 40. A couple so of old men here. I lived in you know most of my. I've been here 13 years now. This this week I moved. I drove out to L.A. 13 years ago this week, and I. Congratulations. Thanks for having me on. Yeah. This. Uh, <laughs> Listen, I mean, leaving Florida, you, you did yourself a favor. So <laughs> I I was in WeHo and then I was near the clubs. And so I could always just like jump yeah, around yeah, yeah. and I was always there. But now it's like I feel like I've been around long enough. I know everyone. You have, I have my credibility. Ru- I, I have my r- routine. Yeah. Um, if I go to Laugh Factory or an improv or something, I can leave my place and get there within 25 minutes. Yeah. And then I, I wake up in the day. And there's just like people walking around the neighborhood. It's 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 not Santa Monica downtown. It's more north, so it's okay. like quieter. Uh, it's all people walking dogs. It's beautiful weather. You go. I I take a five minute walk. I see the ocean from Pacific Palisades yeah. Park. Less gay people. It's just like less gay people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it's just like or older gay people. However you want to say successful gay people. Um, <laughs> And and you just kind of have to look at it like you know I had a lot happen to me in the last few months. We're not going to get into it. Mom died, want, but I'm saying oh, I'm sorry. To, sorry so about that. it's okay not to make anyone sad. But she died of cancer. Not to make anyone really feel sad, but uh, we watched her die. Not to make it really bad, <laughs> but we watched wait, the wait, soul wait. leave her mouth. Not to make it really bad, but we watched her go. Ah. Okay. Did you so inhale it? I I went. <laughs> and I, went I am two people. <laughs> Hi, Michael. It is me, your mom, <laughs> and me. Hi, mom. And just weird just, about it. Yeah. Your body's weird. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Fun bit. Anyways, that's the coffee kicking in. Um, <laughs> so, uh, like, like my whole thing is, we don't know when our time ends, and we're so caught up in, uh, you know, to get real for a second, we're so caught up in uh, tomorrow. What's what do I have to do? What do I have? What, what's going on? What do I have next week? What do I have next month? And then we're so worried about our past. Oh, what happened or or who mm. or I wish I did this differently. You know what I mean? We're yeah. we're very 
we're rarely living. Well, you ruminate about things that happened or things that are going to happen. You yes. Know, you know? We rarely are living in the moment. Yeah. Right. And we, which is like very important because you really, you know, in the last few years, you just hear random comedians dying or just people just die all the time. Yeah. And maybe it's once a year or twice a year, but you never know when it's your time. So it's like, why am I uh, going to get so caught up in the matrix? And part of this comes from the pandemic, right? We, we had time to kind of sit in it. And then even after the pandemic ended, we're right back into this drug. Yeah. Stand-up comedy is a drug. The business is oh, a drug. Yeah, I've said that. You're like, whoa, 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 here we go. And like, you, you want to chase it. You're seeing everyone do stuff. And you're like, I want to do that. I want to do this. But if you can like, just kind of like be happy with what you had. I, I This is a quote I'm going off. I heard recently. Uh, there's only two ways to be rich. Okay. And I thought this was dope. Start an uh, OnlyFans account. What's the second one? Start an only. So there's three ways. <laughs> start an OnlyFans. So the two have tits and start an OnlyFans two, account. Two ways to be rich: um, have everything you want, or be happy with what you have. I okay. thought that was deep because I thought that is deep. Is that like roomy or something like that? I don't know. I, heard it. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. I read but it. It's very I read true. it on some girl's tattoo on a rib cage. Yeah, it's very true. <laughs> But it's very true. It is. It because, is. But also, it's like you ha you're you both of those if you have that. Yeah. Because then it's like, oh, I have everything I want. Then you are, you're happy with everything you have. Yeah. It's essentially, it's the same thing. I got to work on the Because even the richest person isn't going to be happy with what they have. So are they really rich? Yeah, I thought so, about, I've thought about that. I, you know, I, <laughs> I've come to the conclusion that my wants are hard to get. So I need to start dropping some of my wants. <laughs> you know, I, I need to want less. But why not? Wanting less seems easier than acquiring what I want. But why not live in a so peaceful? Why not live in a peaceful place like Santa Monica? Yeah. The, the, one of the best neighborhoods in, is North Santa Monica in LA. I've been here for 13 years and just have everything I need and live my normal life in the day and then come to work at night. Yeah. So for me, it's mental health. Yeah, that's I, why I moved out there. I don't. What am I going to be in WeHo? Like, I don't want to be forty and then like walk to hey Trader man, Joe's. I'm about to be fucking forty. Yeah, dude. But, and, 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 and you're smelling you're taking, shit. You're taking and a we shit on my life right now. Shit, yeah. Because we. I've only been in LA for three years, so I, fine. That's yeah. fine. But you might you you might be where are you from? You're a city guy. Yeah. Yeah, I grew up in the suburbs, so like I want it quiet. Like I go home, okay. I can hear a pin drop in my neighborhood. There's you, no homeless uh, people. There's no. It, it's like quiet. It's all. It's chill. I don't smell shit. There's no <laughs> homeless people around. There's no crime. Like there's there's no you know there's nothing to worry about. Like in WeHo, I want to go eat lunch. I gotta see a guy with no legs ask for money, and I'm like, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Like I feel shitty. And I'm not saying that like that's fucked up. That oh, I don't want to help him. Of course I want to help him. But listen. I'm in no position to help someone with no legs. I'm fucking, I can barely <laughs> I, can, I don't walk. have an extra leg. I get, yeah. Also, there's way more other people that can help. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't want to yeah, like be mean, reminded about how sick and sad the world is. They, well, they, I mean, there's a lot of guilt fucking floating around. Like, people like to hoist society's guilt on other people so they don't have to feel it. You know, yeah. you, we, we should do something about the homeless. I say this all the time. Why don't you do something? You know, like, you got a spare bedroom, let one in your house. You know, like... Fucking, well, there's it's, nothing, it's always people telling other people how to live. There's also nothing you can do about the homeless. It's uh, it's always going to be there. There's not yeah. like something you can well, do Well, that's about my it. position on the, like, the gun thing. It's like you're not going to recover oh. 400 million guns. Oh, 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 so gun, we, we need not, to live with this. By, by the way, there's two things about the gun. Gun control, that, that's not a thing. All right, you, you can't get rid of. Uh, oh, they're, already, they're already here. You can't get rid of heroin. Yeah, so you, you can't up. put that genie back in you the bottle. You can't get rid of heroin. And then also it's not a fucking mental health thing either. It's not a mental health thing. He, I All got right, this. Let's hear it. All right, listen. A mental health thing is some guy fucking shitting on the sidewalk. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't shooting up a school, motherfucker. The guy talking to a wall outside of Whole Foods asking for money, he's mentally ill. He ain't shooting up a school. You know who's shooting up a fucking school? Me and you. Yeah. Who's fucking pushed to the brink. and was like, you know what? I ain't going to fucking make it in stand-up, but you know what? I'll fucking yeah. have the dopest school shooter of all time. But I will make some headlines today. You know what I mean? Like, dude, every school shooter, nobody... Uh, They've worked in society with everyone. No one thought they were going to do it. No one's like, this guy could be a school shooter. Like, you know yeah, what I, mean? I mean, every once in a while you hear like they they, they might have had a report, but like there's no way you could have stopped how, them from doing what. How many what, guys do you saying, know there's that no, there's no had way, a report? But, I'm saying, but there's no way. There's no, like, oh, like, oh, if you've been in a, you know, in a, like if you, you know, got locked up in a 
funny been for a little while because you wanted to kill yourself six years ago, but then you get out and six years later, shoot that's up a different. If that's true. But I'm saying there's no. But like, the, 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 you know how hard it is to put that together. Like, we're, that's what I'm saying. Like, the FBI is going to track every person that, that ever took Prozac. It, it, I don't. You know, like, yeah, like I how don't the fuck know, are they going to stop them? It, like, first of all, a, a lot of people are depressed or go. Yeah, go that's what I'm shit. saying. A third you know of the population if it's a has mental who, health problems. If, it, if it's a guy who was like locked up for mental illness, like crazy, like that, and then he shot up at school, then I'll shut up and then you you present the facts. But from my understanding is, yes, some of them have some crazy history, but most of them are like, hey, we didn't know. A, yeah, they had a nine to five job. They're normal person. Who was just like, yeah. dude, that guy. That some guy, people say it's a cult following from Columbine. Well, dude, think there's about a that. cult following of. I like, don't know about that. I mean, there like, is, no, there's. A, oh, like, I mean, there's col- you know, Colum- co- co- a copycat. Well, or there, there is a cult following yeah. that of people oh, sure. who like for Waco for that for all want to be like yeah. cool and knowing that. So there is also this this era of like this stuff is it's never gonna go away. It's it's in well, history you're forever. Gonna, that's the thing. You're, you're, deranged people are going to exist forever. Yeah. So the idea and that now you're, it's a part you're of our eliminate society. crime of every kind or any kind for that matter is ridiculous. Listen, if somebody's going to go out with a bang, they're going to be like, "Well, I'm going to do a school shooting." The thing is, let's move it from schools and do it at a mall or something because <laughs> let, go to a Walmart. Then, yeah. <laughs> the, yes. Yes. Why are go, you shooting go, up? You know, go somewhere school. where we don't like the people. Well, you know, like, <laughs> also at least it's people that have lived a little bit. Don't do these fucking oh, children. Kids. Go yeah. to Walmart. Go to Target. And it's just like, all right, you know, that fucking sucks. There was another mass shooting, but at least it was poor people. Okay. <laughs> so and it's just like not people who are changing the world. Yeah, right. And you know, it's artists. You know, people who are trying to be artsy. You know, <laughs> who's at Target? A lot of comedians. I go to Target all the time. Yeah, the housewives. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Spend, just saying. Spending too much money at Target. Move it. That's the only way you're going to fix mass shootings. Don't do them at schools. Do them at other malls. <laughs> strip malls. <laughs> Fuck strip it. malls. You know where's a good place Florida to do it? Florida is one big strip. Where in Florida are you from, by the way? Uh, Coral Springs, the suburbs of Fort Lauderdale. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that's that's home turf. Dude, what are the things on Sunday in L.A.? The the markets, the flea market things? Oh, the, that's uh, a great, the farmer's market. Great place to do mass shootings. <laughs> Think about that. You got people looking for deals and shit. You're like, get rid of those people. <laughs> right? I mean, I, I don't know if we should post this. <laughs> I don't know. If we should, I don't know. If I'm just going to get pulled from YouTube. Yeah. So 13 years in LA. You came like right after college or when did you come out? No, I um, a year after college. I graduated college five years. Did you go to Miami? Where'd FSU. You that was, uh, and I nice. Went that must to, have been wild. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, I wish I had the confidence I did now. Back then, <laughs> I mean, probably would be living a different life. I'd probably yeah. be like in sales and been like, I got seven wives because um, I'd be Mormon. Um, <laughs> well, oh, yeah. So I uh, and you drove out. Yeah. Well, I mean, everybody kind of drives when they did move. you just drive. Like, did you start comedy out there and then drive it or you just fucking no. say, I'm, go- I'm driving to L.A. and starting comedy. I career. went to a couple comedy shows in South Florida and I remember my buddy's like, why don't you just start comedy out here? Why are you going to just go move out there? I go, I don't know. Like, let's just get this over with. <laughs> like, let's, what do you mean? Like, why am I going to not move? Like, why? So I can maybe talk myself out of moving to L.A. and doing this. I was like, no. Oh, so you think if you in. started in Florida, there's a chance you could have stayed around. Yeah, what if I start doing it and I met someone? You fall like uh, what, there's what 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 it like? Yeah, how really many people? About that. How many people stay in the city that they start in? It's just like why don't I go out there? Because then I'm I, out there and I'm like, yo, you better do this because you committed to this. Yeah, you moved. And, and there's probably a, thousand, a lot of people three thousand like, miles. Yeah, and I, was, I also think it's healthy for people to fucking move out of their hometown for a while. <laughs> I, I mean, think I, everybody I get why you should want to go back, but home. you should have to move away from everybody home. Everybody should live five away years from home. at least. Live on your own somewhere. Figure it yeah, out. out. Even if it's col- college, I'll, I'll let that count for you a little bit. Like FSU was six hours from where I grew up. I mean, that's pretty far. But it's far than my school was. From but also, New York. like everyone you went to college with was from South Florida. So yeah, it's, it's kind all, of the yeah, same. It's all your boys from but high school. Uh, most most of my friends <sighs> lived in either New York. You got to go live in a big city for yeah. sure. You got to try a big city to see what the world is really about. Yeah. Cuz that's that's the that's the real world, big cities. You can't like grow up in the suburb like I don't know dude. There I, was no internet when I, I grew t- up. I will tell so you the going suburbs, to a, I thought everything I thought yeah, life was great for everyone. Yeah. I was like, "Whoa, life is great." <laughs> <laughs> but I've definitely like grown up in in New York City. I've definitely learned a lot going to small towns. It's like, fuck, man, people live like this. You know, like, like well, they I, also like, don't know shit. And they, oh, you're well, I'm saying they, like, like, they, like, this there's why the race. There's nothing. And not to say that like the, how they live is wrong, but say like, oh my god, like they don't have like shit isn't open all night, you know, like, oh, you yeah. know, like, like things close on the weekend. What the fuck yeah, is this? Like, like, what's going on out here? Where like, I live in Santa Monica, everything after 11 PM, you, you have to get fast food. Oh my God. That's the what only downfall. There's no diners. I mean, that, that's, a, that's a, that's one of the things about New York that 
I, I love. Mean, I, it's just you get a VCR at two in the morning, Dude. and I don't even know where you get a VCR anymore. But you can get one in New York. I'm gonna actually go get one this weekend. <laughs> for get, what? You got some old porn I, I video don't tapes? I, I just want a VCR. <laughs> I just I, for me Vintage, VCR, yeah, decorate VCRs the are decorations. Yeah. It's like a <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I want to feel like I'm I'm growing yeah. up again. It's like people have a record player it's not in their a bad house idea. that doesn't work. You yeah. see that in LA a lot. You're like, <laughs> well, I have a VCR. That's not a bad idea. People are like, why do you have them? Like. So I'm reminded about where I come from, you know? <laughs> I want to think about the 80s every time so I get up in the It's a conversation starter. People are like, why? So my nephews come what over is and they're that? like, what yeah. is that? Yeah. I'm like, put your fingers in that slot. Yeah, stick your dick in it. See what happens. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only thing that when you opened up, you're like, oh, so this is how it works. Oh, yeah. It, now, was, it was really basic You can't basic do that inside. with anything. You can't do that. If you open up an iPhone, you'd be like, I don't. You would exactly. Be like, how does this translate to videos? Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> But like a VCR, yeah, you open like, oh, up and it, like, it pl- rolls the tape, uh, yeah, shines a light through it, it, it puts it on the screen. Bulb, yeah. yeah, it's like, it's very. You're like, I could make this. I could make a VCR. I could, I could make a VCR. I could rebuild a VCR. Yeah. It's like a bike. You're like, I could, I could put this together. So, so now that you've been in LA for 13 years, I, I was thinking about this this morning while I was taking a shit. That's how, that's how much preparation I do for the show, Mike. You need, you need to have quicker shits because you're thinking too much. I know. How I many know. times does your feet fall asleep t- taking a shit? Uh, none this morning, but I have had that happen. Yeah, me Back too. when I used to work an office job, taking a long shit to, to, like, oh, to hide from the boss yeah, for, yeah, for yeah, a little yeah. bit. I mean, my legs would go numb. Oh man! The best part of my day was my post morning coffee shit when I was I working. In, when I, mine when I was working in an office, and that's how, that's how you know you need to quit your job. How many shits do you take a day? Two. Uh, at two. least two. Yeah, two. There's yeah. been sometimes there's three. I take the breakfast shit and then the mid afternoon. Yeah, you know. I think that's a, a universal for everyone. I don't know, man. Some people have weird bowel movements. You think some some people do less? I think some more. people do more. If you, if and I'm you, sure people do if less. If I took three shits a day yeah. every single day, I'm cha- I got to change something. Because <laughs> I've had three shit days and in, in, in my head I'm like, come on. Yeah. I'm like, what's going you're, on? I spend too much time in the bathroom. This I'm is like, what's going boring. on? This is this is an hour in the bathroom. You're reading the back of the aerosol can because you forgot <laughs> yeah. your cell phone? Like, <laughs> you're doing, yeah. If you're doing 20, oh, there's no way I'm going in the bathroom without my cell phone. <laughs> I'd rather hold a shit in and to, like and get sick than to go to the bathroom. <laughs> have you ever had to phone. shit right before you went on stage? Yeah, one time. How long did you have to do to hold it in? Did no, you... no, 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 no. I, 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 I said don't uh, light the guy. Before oh, you me said tell him to stretch. I'm gonna go. Drop thank, this. Thankfully, it was one of my shows, but I was like, don't, yeah. don't until I come back. Don't light him. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's but, clever. If, but if it was like a fit, like if it was like a spot, then I would just deal with it, yeah. right, and hold it in. I've had to take a shit, but it's weird. Like when you, when I'm getting ready to go on stage, all that, like it, it just goes away. And then when I get off stage, sure. I'm like sprinting to the bathroom. It's kind of like sports. You've never had to shit when you're playing sports. I've always yeah. thought about that. Well, I've seen marathon runners shit their pants while they're running. Yeah, that's not worth it. <laughs> yeah, <it's> that's <laughs> just not worth it. That's not worth it. <laughs> you humiliating yourself? Yeah. yeah, it's yeah, just like, yeah. You're like, I've seen plenty of yeah, people yeah, finish a marathon. Eight minutes to my time, I'm, yeah. I'm going to run in the porta potty and take this shit. I've <laughs> seen plenty of people run a marathon and not shit themselves. So <laughs> you can do it too. So let's not fucking humiliate yourselves. I know. Like, so, it, oh, if, if it's stopping you from getting a record, then next year. Fuck that then record. Next year. Yeah, the re- also, there's four <laughs> marathons a year. There's four marathons. There's Chicago, New York, LA. Oh, the majors and somewhere or whatever. Else. Yeah. So like Boston. Boston so there's yeah. four. So there's four. So like. Go to the next one. It's not the end of the world. Like, uh, right, don't don't lose your self respect trying to yeah, set a record. But what are we doing? You can just you do, have to live with yourself after that. This isn't a once in a lifetime opportunity. Like yeah. people are running marathons in their eighties. And if and if you are competing for like any sort of top ten placement, and you shit yourself. The cameras are on you. Yeah. So oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. so it's not like you're if you're if you're the 278th person. You know, also take a shit on yourself, knock it out. But if you're in the top ten, don't embarrass yourself. Also, you've done it before then too. Yeah. That so would be then the first you time. don't need to like. You're not a first time marathon. Like I'm doing this for my mom. You're like, no, no you're not. Yeah, maybe shit before the race starts. <laughs> yeah. Or just don't eat the day before. Which... Yeah. <laughs> or don't eat in the morning. Like, but if know. you had to shit all of a sudden, just be like, all right, you know what? We're, we're going to wait for the next marathon. We're not going to go through this. <laughs> all right. So while I was taking what a shit. What if we shit during the podcast? Just. I mean, I might get some really niche followers after that. You know, these scat porn people. Sorry about the shit comments, guys. Sorry, I know it's, <laughs> it's not, all the stuff you know, outside. You know, some of you guys were like, "Hey, I'm eating lunch." <laughs> but uh, but I was going to ask you. I, I was just thinking about this since you've been in LA for 13 years. I think of you as a local guy, and you're definitely a you know, I think you're a Hollywood kind of cat. I, I, I don't see you as a South Florida native. Oh yeah, oh, because I've been here. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I've lived here 13 years, like you said. Bro. Well, you got to think like. I am five years away from living here longer than I've lived anywhere else. Oh, yeah. Because at 18, you go to college. Yeah. 
And then after that, I came back to South Florida for two years before I moved to LA. So really, you know, you're, you're eight. I know. So, you're, you're, most of your adult life has been spent here. Yeah. So, so I wanted to run down a list of questions to find out just how LA you've become now. Oh, how yeah. How Hollywood you become. All right, we'll do a, a quick 10 or 12 here. Uh, have you ever done a cold plunge? Not yet. Not yet. So you're I planning on soon. doing it. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. In the last year, this became the thing. Yeah, and I have a, a a friend from I grew up with actually went to high school with her husband has a place that does like a oh, sauna yeah, like and a, a cold plunge like and these, a float these, lab where you these, can float in these, these sensory businesses deprivation. are opening up yeah so and they have like a few of them and they keep saying come in come in so I'm that's gonna happen yeah so yeah right. I will try it not a big fan of of cold uh, well yeah I mean you're a Florida guy you live out here now yeah all right next one have you ever done DMT or ayahuasca. Which what's DM? Uh, I don't know. Oh, these, I, I haven't these done are the, ayahuasca, but I've done like mushrooms. Uh, well, yeah. Well, these, this see, I feel like every is DMT and Molly. No, no, DMT and ayahuasca are like the same thing. They're basically, it's like the shit you're Yeah, yeah. So no, I have not yet. Okay, but I you have done mushrooms. We've I've, all done mushrooms. I've, I've done, I've done everything. Yeah, you've done everything. That what's ketamine like? Ah, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's what it's like. It, literally, that's what it does. When you do it, you go like this. <laughs> and then it, it lasts for 10 minutes. It's like doing like a little quick part of Molly. Oh, the quick part of Molly. Like okay. it's like it's like a little, it's like 10 minutes of Molly. That's really <laughs> what it is. Of, like I a, didn't know it. It's, it's, it's like way, a key I mean, hit of Molly. Yeah. Um, but I mean, like it's, uh, yeah, I've done everything that's popular. I've okay. never like done the hardcore shit. I've never been like in no, an no alley heroin. smoking crack yeah. Or doing heroin. No. I've just done like party drugs for festivals. Like whatever people are doing at a festival. Yeah, well, that was the next question. Have you ever been to Coachella or Burning Man? I have been to Coachella in 2012 for the hologram. I was there for the Tupac hologram. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. The infamous Coachella, which Eminem was there. That's why I went. All right. Have you ever trained in mixed martial arts or or jujitsu? No, I never will. I'm not a fan of that. You never even attempted it? Mm -mm. I don't even watch it. Okay. Wow. I, what, I, as a are, comedian in LA, that's a fu- that's a sacrilege. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like saying you're listening to the Joe Rogan podcast. You might as well spit in comedy's face. I see clips of it. <laughs> I, yeah, I, wa- I watch a knockout or two on Instagram. But when if it comes I was up. on Rogan's podcast and he brought it up, I'm like, I, I got Every nothing day. for you, dude. I go, we're not doing this. Not th- I go, you want to talk about football? I'll talk about football. We can talk about comedy, or we can talk about conspiracy theories. That's your go-to. Well, if I'm there, yeah. I'll fair be, enough. I'll be, I'm going to defend the moon landing yeah. and all the. <laughs> have, have you ever ordered an acai bowl? Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's everyone has now. I don't know, man. You think that's only LA? I mean, that's a very. I, I could tell you, in New, you ever, growing up in New York, no one was eating fucking acai bowls. You don't think there are a lot of? I'll bet you on the Lower East Side, there's plenty of those now. places. Yeah, I'm sure. And WeHo of Lower yeah. East Side is WeHo. Like, I feel like if you order an acai bowl instead of giving you a spoon, they should serve it with a little dildo you have to eat it off of. <laughs> Have you been to the place? <laughs> you know, like just make just, just really emphasize what kind of a fucking sissy you they're are. They're really good. I'm sure they're delicious. And so it's a man. smoothie in a bowl, basically. Yeah. Right? With yeah. fruit on top and then like honey. Is it, that's what yeah. It's a great post workout thing, which you are in shape. So you should be into it. Yeah, dude, but I, I I've what, had, are you just eating steak right after a fucking steak. workout? Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Pop, I'm eating spinach out of a can. Yeah. Um no, but I, the acai, you're just saying acai makes me well, feel soft. Well, I don't soft. say it. I just say, I'll take one of those. Yeah, give me a number three. Yeah, I'll yeah. take the, the, with the with strawberries the and the peanut butter. Acai, I'm not, I'm saying let's go get one of those bowls. Yeah, one of those bowls, one of those I'm yogurt bowls. It. Yeah. All right. Uh, do you tell people your gender pronouns when you're introduced to them? No, I'm not gay. <laughs> the fuck is well, that? Well, I think, I think that would be trans, but I, I don't know. <laughs> Fuck that bullshit, dude. Let me tell you something about this, too. All right? Listen. He already touched on school shootings. Might as well stomp on the trans rights movement. Here's what's so fucking dumb about this shit, okay? If I'm sitting in front of you, I go, what's up? How are you, Randy? I know your name. Or I'll say, like, that guy's name. I don't know his name. But like, hey, what's up, dude? I'm not saying his pronouns, right? You're not saying pronouns to someone's face. The pronouns are for... Behind their back. Yeah, exactly. So that's not even for you, motherfucker. It's for when we're talking shit about you. Hey, them looks like a fucking man, but it's a girl. So it's like, you want me to fucking talk shit about you correctly? Like, <laughs> exactly. what is that about? Like, I, oh, when you're referring to me, 
say this. You're not there. Yeah. You're not around. What does it matter? Why I do have, I call you a vegetable? What does it fucking matter? I have matter? a very similar take on it. It's like, I don't, I, you can live whatever lifestyle you want. And I t- totally support it. Yes. But my problem is when they, when the, uh, like non-binary people use they, them. And I'm like, you have to pick a singular. You can't be multiple. You, you can't be referred to as a they when you're a one person. They refers to a group or more than one. Yeah, but even if you want to be make up a third, make up a third pronoun, but just don't use the plural do, when, pronoun. When am I use s- a singular pronoun, and if you want to make it up, make it up. When am I saying that? Oh, so like if I'm but talking right. to you, I'm you're like, right. so they. Yeah. Fuck you! You're not around. Yeah. I'm gonna be like, yo, the transgender we work with. <laughs> You know the fucking, you know, he, the they thing? them. Yeah. You know the whatever they want to be called. Yeah. What do you, what does it matter to you? If that's your fucking problem in life, oh, you got a lot more coming well, to you. Well, it should also be, you should it's also be more movement. concerned with people talking shit about your back behind your back. You know, like, yeah, yeah. like they shouldn't be talking. About, don't bring me up if I'm, if I'm not in the room. If that's your fucking, if that's what is bothering you in life, you've had an easy life, man. If oh, that, yeah. Here we go. Here's a, here's a great one. How many yoga instructors, Reiki healers, life coaches, or crystal healers have you dated? No idea. I mean, I've definitely dated women who like were oh, the, dated. Is di- Basically, is I'm different. asking you, are you on Raya? No. <laughs> I was when I was single. All right. So I'll put that as a yes. Um, <laughs> there's been some girls. I remember there was a girl who didn't shave her <sighs> armpits and she was hot. Where do you come down on that? How did you deal with, like, did you just kept it to it? myself? I was like, well, I'm never going to date this person. This is just for uh, masturbation. I mean, she, but she was like shaved otherwise. No, she had like a little strip too. Oh, okay. Cause, cause I, she was like spirit. I would think it'd be pretty funny if she's shorn otherwise, but kept her armpit hair. Like she shaves her legs and you know her privates, but yeah. her armpit hair she leaves. I believe it was she had some ar- armpit hair, or you have like those. Women was she who, a they? Do you know this? We has it been confirmed? She definitely was. She had theys, okay. but she wasn't. Uh, <laughs> she had theys for sure, but she had this, theys for days, dude. <laughs> she was hot. <laughs> so I'll put that down as a yes. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Are you familiar with the term California sober? No. No, is that oh. is that they? You're sober, but you smoke weed. You're you so you, you don't drink, but you do drugs. I would have thought it's oh you you smoke pot, but that's not considered a drug. So not you, anymore, not in this state. Right, that's just. I mean, pot is fucking ubiquitous. I, that, yeah, 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 that's yeah, what yeah. I'm saying. So, so can, can someone be like, I'm sober, but also smoke pot now? Because yes, it's like, yes, they that's can. what I'm saying. Yes. Which is like stupid because it's like no, because it, it 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 fucks with your mental being so then it's a drug I, I, I had, cigarettes didn't right cigarettes doesn't make you go whoa no but even cigarettes have a psycho uh like a psychological yes. effect you know coffee even does you know, yes, the caffeine. Yes, yes. so it's a stimulant coffee some kind. can be equal to and cigarettes that's why I make the argument that people weed. walk around talking about how sober they are but everyone's doing a little something of something of course you know like sugar and caffeine are yeah the to get most, through your life the most addicting drugs in america easily. Yeah, people are losing f- fucking diabetes is taking away feet every day. I mean, yeah. like, but I don't know coffee. There's some good from it, but it's definitely I've I've caught myself in some headaches from not having a coffee, and uh, I go, yeah. ooh, I am close <laughs> to sucking a cock for a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you ever worn a skull cap when it was over sixty degrees outside? What's a skull like? Like a, the winter hat? No, no, I'm not. I don't wear those hats. I wear hats a lot. Obviously, I can see. All right, here's the last one. <laughs> Did you vote for Hillary Clinton? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, well, the last vote voting I had a room uh, my, I lived with my buddy CY and my buddy Rel Battle. You know Rel Battle? Yeah. I lived with him and so he's uh you guys obviously know what he is based off his name. Um, <laughs> so when I got my, you know, we did it at home voting, I yep. just handed it to him and I go fill it out as you please. Oh, you let him do it? Yeah. Isn't that technically a crime? Well, I filled you, it out, but I, you, I, you, I... Okay, you agreed to whatever he... <laughs> rel battle. Rel battle. Got two votes. Uh, no. <laughs> Don't arrest so, Rel. Uh, he, go, he consented to it. He was, he was just hovering over me. He's like, you okay. better not circle Trump. And oh, yeah, I go, he had I his belt like in to. his hand. <laughs> he was like, you fucking... Put... So I, I go, listen, this is more for you. What makes your life for your people better? 
and I will vote for all of those. That's how I support it. Okay. Because I don't give a fuck. Uh, yeah, I don't care. Because <laughs> I'm going to do what I do regardless. I got to pay. Oh, people are like, what about my, 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 whatever? I'm paying taxes, whatever it is. Whatever it is, I'm not going to fucking complain. <laughs> what, what do you want me I, to do? I asked my mom this past election day when I called her up because it was like her birthday, like the day after. I was like, oh, did you end up going to vote? She goes, no, why? I'm like, well, what do you mean, why? Why did, how did you didn't go to vote? She's like, I don't, I don't care. I had better things to do. Yeah, I'm with her. She's like, I gotta go I'm work. with her, dude. I, 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 I'm like, my life is not changing. You guys like, are like, it should, what about for bother? your kids? I go, they'll deal with shit how I did. Like, Yeah, they'll figure I, it out. Listen, I'm playing by the rules as much as I don't have to. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> all right, all right, I got to do this. Like, oh, Just cool. doing the bare you, minimum to exist in yes. society. You, yeah. Oh, I, I got to pay cash? Cool. Nobody's going to find out about that. Okay? Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Like, oh, this is got, I got to pay taxes on this? Sure, whatever. What is the amount? That, oh, I'm not going to complain. That's what the rules are. Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> That's what the rules are. You're not are. upsetting the apple cart. All right, I actually said last one, but this is the last one because I, I do want to know this. Do you own a hybrid car, an electric car, or a German car? An American. There we go. Dude, I'm st I'm stunned here. After 13 years of living in LA, I will. I asked never... you 12 questions. Seven of them were no. That makes you not an LA resident. Yeah, I will never have. <laughs> that makes you not a true LA I will, native. I will always have some sort of like. I will either have have the car I have now. I'll have. A what are you driving of, these days? A Bronco. Oh, I will classic. always have the a Bronco. One or the new one. The new one. Okay. A Bronco. Or a Porsche 911, and that's it. A Porsche 911. Yeah, that is if German. I could get to that stat status. Well, dude, you gotta love the Germans, dude. <laughs> anyone who can get to a part, anyone who can almost take over the world, you gotta, you gotta. Hit Twice, it. dude. Twice. Twice. You gotta two get, shots at it. Yeah, I mean, you gotta think like that's, you know, that's a dynasty. That's two, two, <laughs> two, two the dynasties. Buffalo, they're the Buffalo Bills of nations. Yeah, they, 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 they almost they won got to the game, but they just couldn't get it. You know, couldn't get it through in the fourth, in the fourth yeah, quarter. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we've 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 hit some we, topics. We, yeah, we've hit a lot of topics. We, let's not get into the Holocaust. Angry let's stop people. there. Yeah, let's stop there. Actually, <laughs> that's where I crossed the line. Because <laughs> you know that's fucked up. <clears throat> so, dude, what you were saying before the show. So, we're going to be in Philadelphia. Oh yeah, Sunday the sixteenth. Correct. Yes, yeah, Sunday the sixteenth. Helium. Helium. Um, and get your tickets. And it's uh, three of us. Yeah, Matty P. Brown, the sweetest guy in comedy. Yeah, he's got a fresh little face. Are you taking him out on tour a lot? Because I know you do New York and... I just... Listen, I'm at the point where I can't bring people yet. <laughs> I'm so, at the point where the, I'm lucky they're inviting me to the show. So, I, so it's like my whole th rule is like uh, it, I won't ask someone to open unless I can pay for their flight and get oh, got them nice a place to, to stay. So if I'm going places, I hit up people. I'm like, hey, are you close enough? Uh, you would you guy? like to do these shows? I can't. I can't. They'll pay you. I, I'm in. I'm not making enough money to pay for someone's flight. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? So when I am cool, I'll you. I'll actually use a variety of people. Just whoever's close to that state, or you know, I like. Would I would like to help as many people as I can. But I always remember Matthew, and I know he lives in Boston. So I'm like, hey, if it's not trouble, if you want to drive down, if yeah, if you, if if not, no worries. I'll have the club find a local because I I'm not like. You know, the show's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. If I'm going I, up to do 45 minutes, show. <laughs> it's going to be fine, okay? It's not going to get ruined if someone's like, when people are like, yeah, I, I bring someone because I can't deal with the locals. They're not that. It's fine. All right? Yeah, Nobody's, yeah. dude, someone could go up on stage and bomb for 10 minutes. It's going to be fine. I'll fix the room, okay? <laughs> someone, two people could go up and bomb twice. I'll fucking fix it, okay? Do you ever, do you ever get like a lot of the local guys who will do like all the local hack references and try and bury I mean, I you. I used to see that in the in the beginning. I don't watch anything, dude. I just go on stage and go, what happened? Here yeah. we are. <laughs> I have no idea. Like You don't put too much stock rarely, in it. Sometimes I'll peek and be like, oh, okay, then I'm aware. And then sometimes then you're present in the moment and you can make a joke of, about what yeah. was going on. But you do good at crowd work, don't yeah, you? Yeah. I, I, what would you say, half? No. No? Like I'll do 45 minutes of material. Oh, okay. But like, well, yeah, I guess I haven't seen your headline in a well, while. Well, here's the thing, man. I'll usually I, fucking I around got, the laugh factor. The last ten times I saw you, were fucking around the laugh factor. Well, I fuck around a lot, even yeah. in an hour. But like, I have a lot of planted uh, rhetorical questions in my act. So I'll be like, "Oh yeah, like you want to wait to get married, right? Like who, anybody who got married in their twenties, and then someone chimes in. And yeah, I'm like, yeah, here yeah, we yeah. go. I got you know what I mean? Like, like yeah. so it's like, and then I have recycled crowd work bits where I, I've thought of, but like I, I do fuck around, but I go, but, but I also disguise bits. I'm going into bits. Yeah. Like I, uh, like I'll, I'll be doing crowd work into a bit. So, but I'm not going to sit there and 
be like some of these hacky pussy ass comics and do 25 minutes of crowd work up to, top just to get one clip for instagram no like, <laughs> like one shitty fucking yeah like audience heckler clip on instagram you gotta have an act bro you gotta have fucking for, like 45 minutes of material yeah or you can get attacked think. on stage that's that's worked recently for people to get ahead you know well, i mean i know quick ways to get attacked on stage if you want <laughs> you just can't post the clip <laughs> You can't post that clip. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get attacked on stage, but I'll get canceled in the process. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like, yeah. So, like, but I, but I do enjoy fucking around because you're present then. Yeah. So, but the, uh, but I, you don't want to like only do. Yeah. Because yeah. the the craft of stand up is is developing an act, and that's the hardest part, which you know people don't realize because they're like, we love crowd work because it's in the moment, but it's very hard to write yeah. a bit and make it work. Well, and those also like. I mean, not all crowd work is great. Some of it's fucking, it's a lot of it, you people, it's not like, it's been done before. But like, when you have a guy like, like an Ian Bag or, yeah. or Big J, it's like, all right, well, they're, they're, I'm not gonna, they're already crushing that. But why am all, I gonna, why am I, I'm gonna talk about what only I can talk about. But they also have bits. Oh no, of course yeah. they do. Of course they do. But, but what I'm saying is like, why would I, like, they, like, it's like me, like, I'm gonna be, you know, let's get into prop comedy. It's like fucking carrot top corner of the market. You know, like, what, sure. what, what can I do that no one else is doing? You know, like, that's what I think about. Well, we're all doing Some what ver- everyone's doing though. Yeah. Because we're yeah. doing stand But I can only talk about so things that matter to me. if you did want to do a prop comic, there is only one other guy. Yeah. So you could have you ever make done a, a prop market. comedy joke with the stool? I guess you fucked the stool a lot. No, I've never fucked the stool. I mean, he's an urban actor. Sat on the stool. <laughs> I I flipped the stool upside down and pretended to fuck my butt with it. All right. Well, and that's. God, I don't see, know what I was see, doing. You see, I th- I, th- I thought you would have went fat in first. Oh no, because it's <laughs> not as pointy. But you need to ease it in there. But crowd work's easy. Uh, crowd work is very easy, actually. It, yeah, it can't. But if you all you have to you do also is want be a good com- crowd though, because the crowd sucks. You're yes, like, ah, I'm but not if you to if you are comfortable on stage and you are, you're just taking pictures. Don't worry. Yeah, well, it's a great time to do that. Just fucking, <laughs> fucking gives us anxiety. Like, did something <laughs> stop recording? <laughs> what happened? I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, it's like if you're comfortable. The, the the key is you'll watch these young guys be like, "Where are you from?" Oh, oh, Texas? Are oh, you cowboy? Oh, like, yeah, just what, are, what are you doing already? Shit. You're screaming at the audience, and whatever it works for you, get your money. But I'm saying there's there's moments where you can sit in it and have a conversation, yeah. and then find the funny. It doesn't have to be so funny right away. Like 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 the being that's the best way where to I like kind of to force do it. in a I joke. I sit into it and I go, okay. Like there's moments, yeah. You're just like it's natural. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a little lesson for you folks. Don't fucking force a joke from Mike Lenoci. <laughs> he gives you that and, and also uh, be happy with what you got and don't want more. And stop, the do- fuck you and said stop to doing uh, school shootings. Like, there's <laughs> other places. And the Germans are the bills of nations. <laughs> but they are the, the Buffalo Bills. But they are the Michael Jordans of making cars. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They well, do. You, yeah. I would say do they the have Italians the best- do it better, though. Like Ferrari no. and Lamborghini? No, because they only have two. That's a good point. Fair Germans point. have a whole line yeah. of Mercedes, Porsche, Volkswagen, uh, Audi, right? Oh, yeah, Audi's German. I mean, they have, uh, uh, and all of them across the board, they're like, all right, you're middle class, here's a fucking Volkswagen. Yeah. Oh, you're a young 20 year old. They have one, yeah. They have like one on every level. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, and then, but I mean, obviously the Japanese kill it too. Oh, yeah, I drive a but Japanese. But Americans car. aren't bad at, at, at all either. Yeah, well, it's just not like it depends. It's just more American. I, it's also, I also just feel like all the cars at this point are. There, I mean, like the difference between America doesn't really do it luxury. Uh, yeah, the best. But, I, but like the difference between a Honda Civic and a and a Ford Focus is fucking de minimis in terms of like yeah, like 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 the well, quality of the bring, car. They're, they're all, all they're all pretty much the same good. at that point. But if you're gonna get a truck, it's America. Oh yeah, yeah America yeah, yeah, dominates yeah, yeah. trucks. Yeah, because we love to waste. We but love to luxury waste. is dominated by Germans. Yeah, I would argue the bigger luxury is having a truck in California. Those fucking things on gas mileage, dude. Yeah, Kidding me? Like, well, that's true. Like, like if you own a fucking Range Rover, that's got to be more expensive than owning a, a you know a Mercedes. They get good gas mileage. The fucking tr- the Range Rover gets like fucking fourteen miles to a gallon. Yeah, dude. I mean Bronco nine dollars kill- a gallon. Bronco kills fucking gas. Oh, yeah, how long have you had that bad boy? I got it in January and I waited a year for it. Oh no shit! Did you uh, did you get it in white to honor OJ? No, um, because he's guilty. So I got <laughs> cactus. Not, to, not according to It's court actually law. this color, kind of. You just match your car. Um. It, well, this came with it, the car. Are you fucking with me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? They give you a sweatsuit? Yeah. <laughs> 
the best my my favorite thing to do now <laughs> is when people ask the question and you honestly tell them yeah and yeah. they're shocked that you yeah. like, oh okay <laughs> i was like all right i should have known we're on a fucking podcast <clears throat> all right you want to get into a little news i do this at the end of the show whatever you want dude i'll fucking you got sit it, here forever buddy. until we die until we, until we, we live together now in the studio we we'll just keep doing a live show until it finally picks up and then we stop and then we go we made it <laughs> we hit we, we were, we're here just, now we've arrived here we look like fucking tom hanks from castaway i know dude how long do you think you could survive in it like if you were left in the wilderness forever really you think you think you could like figure out yeah i'd figure it out really? we're all we're are you all... like a, have you gone hunting and shit like that no have you gone camping before when i was like a kid all right but i mean we're all we all have, have you used instinct. a gun you're from florida you yeah. must have guns yeah you but i mean you don't need a gun if you're on an island by yourself i think it'd be handy in case you run into somebody else you don't know you know i mean you gotta protect yourself but at that point, you would just be happy <laughs> On a to desert see island, him. if you run into some other stranger, then I would, you know, some, probably, some, fucking probably, local, some native with I, a, you know, like. I'd rather charm him and try to fuck him <laughs> than to kill him. I'm like, I need some sort of interact. Like, at that point, you're like, you I'll kill him and eat him. You have a hole? <laughs> you have Dude, a hole? You don't need to eat him if, if you're surviving, you know? You've, yeah, I guess you've, if you have a gun, you could shoot something else. Yeah. Shoot a bird or something. You can shoot yourself. That's the thing. That's uh, <laughs> that's the one topic we didn't touch on that was, that's going to get us shut off from YouTube. But I would agree. If I was stuck on a desert island with a gun, I. Uh, I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm gonna wait to starve to die. I'll say that. I don't that. need a gun. If you, I'll say if that. You, if, you <laughs> have, if you have anything, you want a lighter. That's what you want. Yeah. Good point. But but we all know how to start a fire. It would just we haven't tried it, but we know how to do it, and it would be Dude, hard. It would take me two days of rubbing sticks to get sure, anything. But going. you would do it. Instinctively, we all have it in us to survive. Yeah, I guess they and they and also all, showed us enough on movies how to do yeah. it. You know, I got a lot of demonstrations. Hopefully, the movies you know, eating real. would be tough. You would have to you would have to adjust to vary your diet being extra zero small. yeah and then you'd have to figure out how to fish right but you all we've all seen castaway but you try to figure out you try <laughs> to make spears you try to make a pole with stuff like you would just you would figure out how also, confident you are and so dude they're they're like survival experts who tap out you know on like alone on but Netflix i mean if you have to you have to yeah, I guess if you have to, you have to, right? You're not just gonna yeah. give up and sit there and die of uh, yeah. starvation. Yeah. If people can survive the Holocaust, I think I can survive a few weeks in the woods. Now that's too far. I'm not gonna go there. No, I'm saying they, I'm had, just it, they had it harder. I'm just kidding. They had it harder. You're like, <laughs> Man, <I don't laughs> at least know. no one's I beating think, you while you're in the woods alone. I think they had beds and stuff. <laughs> they had jobs. They had heaters. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> they kept them warm. Kept uh, them warm. <laughs> Uh, all right. According to the New York Post, blue vagina is as real and as awful as blue balls, a doctor reveals. Uh, blue balls were previously thought to only plague men, but apparently w women can suffer from it, too. It's called blue vagina or blue sounds vulva. Like, sounds like clickbait. Uh, I mean, it got me to click on it. <laughs> Considered by many women a myth, the idea that blue balls has often been dismissed as a sexual tactic to convince partners to get down and dirty. It's uh, actually a real thing, by the way. Yeah. Blue balls. I've had blue balls plenty of times. Yeah. But it says, however, the uncomfortable and at times rather painful feeling down under isn't actually a ploy at all. It's real and can happen to women as well. It's due to an increased blood flow when you're sexually stimulated. So I wonder, like. I don't know. I've yeah. never. Because then in, in our lives, we would have heard a girl be like. That's what I want. I want to ask my three female listeners. <laughs> It, have you ever had like blue vagina or blue vulva? Like, do you ever get a throbbing down there when you don't, when we don't come through with it? You're lying. Before you even answer this, you're lying. But answer it in the comment section. Yeah. I think for the algorithm. I think they're lying because why would a woman ever experience that? Because they have, they have access to men who, I mean, like if a woman's horny, she could eventually find a man to, to take care of the problem. You know, like, whereas a guy gets rejected and he has to take, like, God, I feel like there are more well, men, me, men are more easily seduced, so you can easily find a it's man. It's happened for the blue balls. Has happened not when I've already been hooking up. It's like when you are with someone and and they're riding you and you're kissing and and they're rubbing you from the outside, but they're like, no, we're not going to do it, and they're and they're stern on that, and then you don't hook up, but you were so hard that you made yourself believe you were gonna, and that's how blue balls happens, yeah. right? Um, and I guess I've you've heard women be like, oh, I want to so bad, but I can't, I can't, but I never like. The thing about blue balls is that it actually your your nuts are sensitive. Like all of a that sudden, is, they're very yeah. sensitive. And then when you go home to rub it out, it actually is kind of painful to jerk off. <laughs> and then when you release, it's so great. But also like ah, it's like that type of 
It's yeah. like a different well, there type is a of pressure buildup. There's for a sure. pressure buildup. So, so with a woman, you don't. They don't have that. What you're, they're just regret. That's what that is. That's just regret. <laughs> That's not. You don't have it. There's, you know, you, there's no you, way. You, you, you wish don't you have had. a buildup of like women aren't like I just want to fucking. God, all over your face. They don't well, have that urge. I don't know, man. 2023, there's a lot of squirters running around these days. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> Disgusting. If you fucking squirt, go find some medication, okay? Because nobody wants that. Nobody wants to fucking change their sheets every single time they have sex. It's pretty crazy how quickly, like, the new hot thing in porn, and that's, like, one of them. I don't know if it's new at this point. Disgusting. But, like, I'd like, rather watch Every year, UFC. like, it went from, like, you know, like, anal sex to eating ass to squirting to spit in my mouth. Like, some, like you always top yourself. So I wonder, like, in five years, what's going to be the thing? Robot fucking? Oh, I mean, that's, that's the holy grail. I, I mean, mean, I would love to have a fucking... This is a $3,000 robot. I'd just be like, you just... Uh, put yeah. her bad news for women who want a relationship if they have sex yeah, female I mean, sexual it'd be life. great like I mean, they <laughs> you love power to... her down when you're done with her I definitely have seen them and I'm like I want to fuck one I definitely want to fuck one you, would you fuck one of those like disembodied vaginas though what do you mean you ever seen those like the sex shops it's just oh, oh, yeah, yeah. it's just the lower half of a, like a torso yeah, I, would, I would fuck those <laughs> I just I, don't, I feel like I've I've I feel like it'd be very Jeffrey Dahmer I've tried, I've tried I've, I've tried like the fleshlights and stuff like that yeah but they have sex with like like but I've, that's that's less weird to me than getting one of those like Lower halves, just the torso, just like the pelvic area of a woman. Because I feel I like, would it, do like, it. like you're having sex with a disembodied human. It's, it's like it's like Jeffrey Dahmer having sex with a corpse. Is it cheating if you have a sex robot? Ooh, good question. Because that would will be no. the thing in the future. I would say no, because women already have sex robots. But they've been the dildos thing. and vibrators for centuries. The thing is, it's you're a weird guy if you have a sex robot, right? And by the way, they're not like robots. It's like these dolls, right? And they're life size. And they're like three thousand dollars. You could look it up, and some of them look very good. <laughs> if you Google Mike, it, look it up. I've looked at them. Don't be too excited about I've it. I jerked off to pictures of them, and then <laughs> and then they have a mouth, and it goes like this. Oh, it's really weird. And then there's the I don't know what that is and what the texture is, but it's attractive, and you're like, oh, it. It obviously it it, it, it can never get the feeling of a girl or a woman like rubbing a your body being, or something. Yeah. So, but what, how long before it's not weird to have that? Well, that's what that's for the first the next 10 years of people. Are like, well, that's a weird guy. It's like, shut the fuck up. That is a every huge... single guy. If it costs 20 bucks to have one of those things, every guy would have, one. Oh, of course. And it was easy to fold up and hide. That's the problem. <laughs> so you can't, it was, have one it was portable. If you have roommates, you can't have one. So you're out. Okay. Unless you share one, and that's even that's weird. That's weird. <laughs> but but you can't really have one until you have a house yeah. that you can hide from guests. So a giant thing like you, you that. Live yeah. you, you live in a one bedroom. You can't hide space. that in a closet. You, you have a one bedroom. You have people over there. Yeah. Like, what the hell is? You in need the a walk-in closet if you're gonna have a yeah. sex doll, a, a life-size sex doll. But I will say this: there is a weird double standard. Like I said, women have had sex toys, dildos, and vibrators for gener generations now. But it's still a weirder stigma for a guy to fuck a sex toy than a woman to. Because it's hot if a woman is playing <laughs> with themselves. It's fucking a guy's like, oh, you know, <laughs> grossed in a dungeon doing it. But like, yeah, it is bullshit. It's like it's. It a, but guy sex things are way more like the flashlights and stuff, which I. Th those are like great twice, and then you're like, "What am I Who doing?" Who washes their fleshlight? And then yeah, that's the, that's the most do it twice, pathetic part. But and then you also feel guilty. You're like, "What am I doing?" You're like, "What am I doing?" This like I should just use my hand in a towel. But yeah, my hand's been working since doing? I was 13. Yeah, I think I'm like, pretty set here. But I mean, if they have a thing that could emulate, is that the right word? Emulate, yeah. Emulate a fucking blowjob with hands and shit. I'm on board. Yeah. If they can, yeah, like if, if there was a thing that went like this, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, but somehow it had, it had saliva glands. But also it. like pulled out and jerked it off for a little bit. Yeah, like that like, would be I'll be like, This is awesome. That somehow took directions like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. in the middle of the act. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here's, here's another great one. Uh, keep it on women. Trans women left sobbing at JFK airport after TSA agent hit her in the testicles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's just a great headline. Why, why did why did he he or it's a she? Why did they get hit? Yeah, there you go. Today, uh, a transgender woman was left in tears in JFK Airport after she claimed a TSA agent punched her in the testicles while she was going through security. I mean, so for no reason, he just yeah. punched her. That's weird. Uh, she said that the TSA agent was a female, so a woman punched her in the nuts. 
mm-hmm. of all people. And then she heard her follow her into the bathroom, mocking her to an employee while she was in the stall. Uh, yeah, but just there's not enough information. I know. But also, I need to know why. Like, was the person just going through security and the TSA goes, you're not what you say you are. You then see, it's like, I think she's I think I think this this uh, this trans woman is overstating what happened. I think the TSA agent, because it was a woman. And she was patting down another woman. I assume she thought she probably didn't have testicles. So you know how they fucking do with the back of their hands? Yeah. But, you know, it doesn't, like you said earlier, it doesn't take much for a nut to get tapped. You, she gives her a nut tap when you don't know there's a pair there. Yeah. You know, accidents if happen. If that's the case, then that's the case. Yeah. But if it was like an altercation, then that's interesting. But it's also like um, there's something. Is it sexual harassment if, if it's a trans man and there's a male patting him down and realizes it's a vagina? I don't know what sexual harassment really is. <laughs> I know, you don't know the boundaries? I, I don't like I, I thought sexual harassment was like, man, I would love if you sat on my lap. Like if you said that to a woman you were working with, like yeah. you, you you would be great on my lap or like oh we fucking, should fuck later. Yeah. <laughs> more direct. But like in we the should fuck in, the, in the workplace of even being like, we should grab a drink later, that can even be called sexual oh, harassment. Yeah. Um, now uh, that could be uh, now sexual assault. I don't, yeah, you know, they, I don't this, know what's the well, difference. At this, at this point, words are violence. So I think it's my it's whole assault. thing is I think that um, there's an overall. All right. For, first of all, less than two percent of Americans are transgender. Yeah. So when so what are we doing right? What are, who is this for? So and I think of the two percent, there's a big. Uh, awareness of what's happening with them so they're yep. ultra sensitive so i think that everything is an issue so they're hyper aware yeah. of things they're hyper so they're vigilant actually, for any, it's for almost any like infraction that or my potential infraction during blm yeah. all right perfect example is everybody's hyper aware of interaction of police with black people yeah right so you're going to be scrutinized for everything even if it's not wrong so for now are all cops bad? No. Yeah. Some are good. And are all interactions with cops and black people bad? No. But if someone who is doing their job does the slightest thing that could be miscon yeah, could yeah be, that could be taken then in then, any way. Then it gets then blown it- out of proportion because we're ultra sensitive of that. So the transgenders, generally speaking, are hyper aware from the last four years because one of the most watched specials of all time has put awareness to it with Chappelle yeah. and people are, are going against it and fighting for it and, and Hollywood and mostly it's only Hollywood that is bringing attention to well, transgender. I don't think in people's day to day lives, it's coming up very they often. Well, listen, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not a very, uh, most people, a guy in most, listen in Cincinnati, there's probably three of them. And I don't think anybody's <laughs> like, I don't think anybody's even, we see it a lot. And New York, sees it. New York, Chicago, LA, we're seeing it a lot. Houston, the biggest cities in the country, right? Yeah. We see it. But those that that group is ultra sensitive that any interaction, if they're at the grocery store and someone goes like this, excuse me, and looks at them a little longer, they're going to be like, is that because I'm a You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, so I don't know what the fuck's going on. It's like I can't take yeah. that. What I thought was funny about it, because I read at the end of the article, she said, they asked like, what should be done about this? She's like, I don't want to get the woman fired, but I think we should abolish the TSA. And I'm like, well, first of all, if you abolish the TSA, that woman is going to get fired. And second of all, I mean, I thought terrorism was a problem. <laughs> like, like, if we had no TSA, which I'm not against. I'm not against getting rid of it. I will take my chances on a, on a plane without it might have a, a bomb on it if we can get rid of the TSA. There should just – there there's a – it should just be like – Fly your own You put risk. your bags through the thing and you walk through the thing and they have the technology to just scan your whole – everything – we could see if there's anything on you. But they said there's something like if you Google, there's Those like scanners don't work 70% well. of things get through. Yeah, everything is through. It's all just a front to intimidate. Yeah, it's to make us feel safe walking out of the air. To intimidate. Yeah, to wait 10 minutes. If <laughs> somebody's going to plan a, an attack by hijacking a plane, they are pretty much, they know. Yeah. At this point. it's They know every Like you can't plan it. Without well, putting also, something in writing with someone else. Well, they're also not going to do the same old thing again. You know, like like they've already done the planes in the building. They're going to come a different way. You know, like, like, if you robbed a bank and went through the front door, would you rob it the same 
you know, next week going to the front. No, you'd figure out a different way because you assume they put a guard at the front door. If I was, you know, like, there's got to be. A, if I was way. a terrorist, I would do it at a sporting event. That's yeah. just like how I, that's the that's seventy thousand people. Yeah. And that would be the greatest, the biggest tragedy in the world. Not greatest, sorry. If I was a terrorist, this is what I would do. That's going to be the name of your next special. If I was a terrorist. I'm just saying, like, so it's like, how do you, so, but that, that can't happen because they're always aware of the fly zone. Like, if anyone's even within 10 oh, miles, yeah, they're, they're like, what the yeah. fuck's going on? Why are you, this is an, all NFL stadiums have a no fly zone, yeah. right? So, you be know. tough to pull off. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> all right, here's, uh, this one's, this <laughs> This is questionable. A Mississippi news anchor was pulled off the air and fired after quoting Snoop Dogg. Uh, I guess while wrapping up a segment, uh, a woman named uh, Barbara Bassett down in Mississippi said, for shizzle my nizzle. She was unaware that nizzle was slang for the N-word, and they fired her for it. Really? I didn't know that either. Well, because we... I, I, we're allowed to say we're allowed to say the n-word like like I, you, for shizzle my nizzle but also like i didn't know that she that didn't say the the, she didn't actually say the n-word and if if nizzle refers to the n-word then even me saying the words n-word should be cancelable i agree with this you here's know, my, like, like, here's we my all whole, know what you mean here, here's my we whole all thing. know what you Wait, mean my, my whole thing about the n-word is like when someone says n-word it goes that's you know what you're saying in your brain right now yeah Exactly. We know yeah. what you're doing. Yeah, the intent is there. You so, heard it. You heard what I said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, so for shizzle on nizzle. Like, I thought yeah. that's a pretty famous quote that everybody. It's knows. very fucking famous. I, th- I, I think. I think I fucking not, Martha Stewart said it. I thought it. for shizzle my nizzle. I guess I, I don't know what I thought it was, but I guess I, uh, yeah, I. And she said it with a soft Z, so it wasn't even like a hard. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> fucking. I didn't. Also, know. Mississippi. I th- I thought you can use the N word in Mississippi still. You know, like. <laughs> Jesus, Randy. <laughs> I mean, those people down there, fucking. <laughs> I just, I don't understand. That, that's kind of, stu- I mean, that sounds like a civil suit that she'll win. <laughs> I, I fucking, I'm sure she hope so. I, and I assume she's a black female. No, she's a white woman. Uh, so I guess maybe that's where it fell apart for. Uh, uh, <laughs> but still, I think that's a little harsh. I mean. Yeah, come on. It's Snoop Dogg. Snoop, Snoop Dogg, he like crossed over into mainstream at this point. For sure. I would like to see the video of her like for a shizzle. My that's what nizzle. I actually have a problem with more more like any any time any co- common colloquialism is said by a local news anchor. People should stop using it. Just like the term woke or you go girl or queen. Like you hear fucking you hear CNN anchors say this bullshit or, you know, the local L.A. anchor, you know, use these terms now. It's like. You know, fucking, it's, thought, it's corny. Stop using it. When the article came out and he said, quoted Snoop Dogg, I thought she was going to be like, we don't love them hoes. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> we don't love them hoes. Have a good night. <laughs> All right, here's the last one. And this one's a special one. Oh, boy. Uh, I have two vaginas, one for my husband and one for my career. A woman born with two vaginas has embraced her rare condition and become a popular t- content creator on where? OnlyFans. Uh, she uses one of her organs for work and the other for play with her husband. What? She was diagnosed with uh, uterus didefilis. didefilis. I wouldn't say that's a diagnose. Uh, I yeah, that, I'm pretty sure you g- know. I think that's a gift. One and two. Th- <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I wouldn't say I was diagnosed. I would be like, you were gifted I know, right? with two vaginas. <laughs> two, yeah, two apparently fully working vaginas. <laughs> really? So she can get pregnant twice? Uh, I, no, that's not how it works. Uh, I, I, I'm I, trying to find out if she Wait. can get pregnant. Oh, my God. She's pregnant right now. One of the photos of this woman is pregnant. <laughs> so I guess one of her vaginas is fully working. I don't know if both are. <laughs> that's that's a, a baby has to make a life decision in the beginning of its life. They come to a fork in the road. Which vagina do you go out? And it determines your life. <laughs> it's like the baby's, fork, the, the baby's yeah. fork in the road is at birth. Yeah. <laughs> Right? You're like, what's going to happen? You go out the right one or the left one? Two different lives. <laughs> but apparently it looks like they both fully work. Uh, so and she was always curious about set work. She says, it doesn't feel like cheating because I just have sex with my husband in one vagina. And the other is for her content creation on OnlyFans. Like for toys or other guys? Other guys and yeah, toys. Yeah, that's cheating. That's- yeah, that's cheating. That's- yeah. Well, think about it this way. If someone fucked your wife in the ass but not a vagina, I'm pretty sure you'd be pissed about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's I, another hole. You know, like, also, like, is the guy finishing on her stomach ever? Like, you know what I mean? Like, 
And also, like, he finishes if, on the other vagina. What if when he flips her over and goes doggy style, he goes, Oh, I went into the left one instead. My bad. I got yeah, confused these are the, the directions. Turn, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get to turn by turn navigation. Like she's never made a mistake. You don't think like the husband's on there every night. He's just like this. I got to watch all the videos and go, babe, that's the right that's one. The, <laughs> that's mine. You God damn it. You did the wrong one. She's like, I fucking forget. I fucking, you know, he spun me around so much. I got dizzy. <laughs> like, would you, would you, uh, would you want a girl to tell you about that before you hooked up with her? Or would you be like, what? Want the surprise? I mean, uh, th there's no girl surprising you with that. She's telling one in two thousand women get have have one in two thousand. That's way more than I thought. Yeah, so that's. Yeah. But I ma but I imagine I imagine a lot of those one in two thousand aren't they don't have fully working vaginas. So they just stitch it up when they're a kid or something. Oh yeah, or you know? they probably uh, yeah. They I, pick I, one I mean, and go with it. I don't know anyone who's run, run into that, but that, a girl's not surprising you with that. What do you think the layout is? You think it's side by side, north, top, bottom? You think it's vagina, butt, vagina? I wonder what the order is of holes. Well, it's not vagina, but where do you think the vagina is above her fucking lower back? Dude, who knows? I've never seen something like it's this. It's fucking two. It's right side next, by side. Side by side. So you can pick her up like a bowling ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's side by side. <laughs> but you can be like this, though. <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's just like uh, two vaginas. I, I, that's the, the, I'm still fascinated by the idea of like what vagina you come out of when she's giving birth to this. What baby. would you do if you're born with two penises? If they both worked fully? Yeah. Well, you I mean, keep them both. Do, do I have four balls or two balls? The thing is, it's not up to you. Yeah. You got to help your fucking dad's. Well, here's the thing. Well, also, would no you, if you what, had two let, penises, let would, you ask want, you would you want like, would you, hopefully they're both big? <laughs> two small penises, that's not cool. Oh, two is better than one. Yeah. <laughs> what, wait, what if, it, what if you have, the thing is, what if you have, um, like, it, if you had a son yeah. and he was born with two penises, realistically, what are you doing? You're getting, I, I it, would, you're I, getting it removed because you want him to have a normal life. Yeah. And I would tell him to keep the bigger one. Sure. You know. they're, they're probably not. How sad would it be if the bigger one didn't really work and the small one's the one that worked? Like, God damn it. You know, like. <laughs> It's like, you know, I got a I, spare part I, I, here. I, here, knowing that I know this information now, I would sit down with my wife and I'd be like, we got to have a discussion about this. I go, is his life going to be worse or can he benefit from this? I go, nobody's going to really know. And then when he's, until he's older, a teenager. Until he, when, when he's old enough, he can start making his own decisions. But, but the a, surgery then is difficult, I imagine. Well, right? we're, we're talking about the future here, so I don't know. Oh, good point. Uh, yeah, good I mean, point. it's Might already 2023. Like that, yeah. I don't know. I'd be like, what are the benefits to having two penises? Not nothing really. Maybe uh, only unmorally careers. Yeah, only fans. So Make money on only fans. Or like, or just being a freak of nature. Yeah. Like you work at a carnival or something like that. Even like relationships might be harder. So you're getting it removed. So that being said, this girl has fucked up parents. <laughs> They should have sewn one of those up. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> what, how sick are her parents? They're like, her dad's like, she got two vaginas? Fucking roll with it. You Rook know what I mean? Like, sick, dude. She <laughs> must be adopted. <laughs> her parents don't love her. I, also, if, if, you, uh, if you wait till you know, you're older to remove your penis, if you have two, you can donate it to a trans person, right? I don't know how they make penises. <laughs> I don't think they're used. What, they don't use, I mean, like, you, you get like, you know. I think they're just like. You get like spare parts from dead people, like or organ donation. You could donate a penis. A pe how do they make a penis? Oh, I, th like, I think they just put you, you give them so much testosterone that they grow a little girl penis. No. The click gets enlarged. I'm pretty no. sure. Does it come? Sorry. I don't know, man. I don't know. I've never, I, I've also ne never I looked like to up jerk like a, like, off a fucking transgender. <laughs> I just want to see what we're working with. See what happens? I would like to man play, into a woman or like woman to be, into a man. I'd like to be playing with some boobs and going, ha ha ha. Jerking, like sucking on tits while you jerk off a guy. You're like, well, I, you're not a guy. But yeah, it's the, it's the age of That's the cool thing. Like, hey, you ever give a hand job in the movie theater while sucking on a nipple? Like, that's, <laughs> that's hot. I have myself a hand job. It's not gay if there's nipples to suck on. Yeah. Well, there's, I guess there's always nipples. It's not gay. <laughs> it's not gay if there's breasts. It's not gay if there's breasts. And on that note, folks, we made it to the end here.
Helium Comedy Club, April 16th, 7 p.m. Lenoch will be there. I'll be there. Come out, guys. Have a good time. Thanks for doing this, brother. Thank you for having me. Follow we'll do it what's, what's your Instagram at Michael, Michael Lenoch. There you go. You go by your full name, right? Michael. Yeah, it's all in the description. Yeah, I'll put of it in the description. the fucking goddamn episode. There you go. That you guys it's are my, new, like. it's my new manager. He's telling me how to do things. <laughs> all right, guys. Let's look at this one. Check it next week. Peace.